Hello, 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 my podcast people, and thank you for joining me for your day in another episode of my favorite podcast. If you're listening to this when it drops, it is Monday, March 18th. The month, of course, is flying by. Welcome to the middle of March. Today we're talking about obsession and the fact that it is, in my humble opinion, a superpower. But first, I do got a little quick announcement then a little life updates, and then we'll talk about obsession. But the quick announcement, next Monday's episode, that's March 25th, uh, that'll be episode 565. It's going to be a guest episode. Haven't done one of those in a minute, um, but I did one. I brought on my guy, Matt McKinnis Watson. He, we're going to call him the plyo guy. Uh, he, my man can fly. He can fly. Brought him on. We talked about bunnies and monies. Uh, if you don't understand that little joke there, bunnies hop hop, right? He's got hops. Um, but I love this guy. I've been following his programming for, I don't know, a few months now. And if you follow my stories, you see me jumping around. Dude knows his shit, right? And he's just a good guy. It, it feels very reminiscent of how I spoke about News Over Toes guy. You know, I brought him on uh, many moons ago. And it's the same. Like, Matt is on a fucking rocket ship. And I, it's always my goal to put the best of the best in front of you folks. And I want to try those things out first, like, you know, if they have programs and things like that. So I've tried it out myself. He is legit. He's incredibly, incredibly smart. And we got to nerd out. It was pretty cool to, to do that episode just because I haven't, you know, really done one about movement. I think the last time I did something that kind of movement related, it was probably when I hurt my knee last October and talked about my rehab process. So it was great to bring him on. Uh, and if you're into movement at all, and even if you're not, I think you'll enjoy the episode. So circle the calendar, make sure you tune into that episode. Uh, I will say one more thing, because maybe you're like, why the fuck would it matter to me about plyometrics? I brought ply plyometrics back into my life with, with volleyball, but I think, and we talk about this in the episode, it really makes sense as something that can be, absolutely can be helpful for anyone and everyone. Because if you think about just from a longevity perspective, a life perspective, the things that kill us, the things that break us down, if we train ourselves to become more resilient to these things and be able to handle these things, that will help us out. Right? And to me, jumping, landing in particular is one of those things. Like we just, we think about running and sprinting. It's like one day you just like stop doing it. I, I mean, I haven't, I still play sports, but you really think about it and you're like, oh, if you don't play any kind of recreational sport, like you just stop sprinting. And it's something that as humans, like we can do. I don't want to say, you know, the whole born to run, but like it is a, you know, bipedal locomotive, you know, pattern. And I believe keeping that in, in our lives for as long as possible is absolutely a recipe for longevity. Matt does a phenomenal job of breaking down, you know, how to how to regress and progress things. And again, it's really highly reminiscent, in my opinion, of, of Ben Patrick, um, but a lot more science and something that I wasn't really exposed to, right? If you're a physical therapist, there's a good chance that you agree with me that we didn't really learn that side of things. And that's something that I never felt comfortable with. Like I could introduce things for people, but in terms of how to really program it and progress it, that was just outside of my wheelhouse. And Matt has all the resources and we talk about it just in general on the, on the podcast episode, but also the resources he has. But Dude is the real fucking deal. And to me, that episode is an absolute must listen. So next Monday, guest episode, tune in. Okay, other announcements, my little, or not even announcements, I guess updates, life updates. Still no planter because I've been away. I was at the, I was at the Real Coaches Summit, which is what inspired this episode. Um, but we did get a new sofa and a, a new rug. So I'm excited about that. The sofa arrived so fast. The rug should be here. By the time this episode actually drops, the rug will be here. Um, the chairs are next, but we got to get the rug first. I have, I have a vision for the way we're going to do the living room, and it's coming to fruition. Still loving the stool, still loving the walking treadmill, the walking pad. I think it's the weirdest name, but the thing that I have underneath my desk, still loving it and loving the stool as the option instead of moving the chair back and forth. It's annoying. Um, I also got a new shoot for my espresso grinder, but having some issues with that and, you know, tinkering around a bunch and I actually saw a really good reel today that ties into this episode because it said, you know, don't get an espresso machine because if you do, you're going to also have to get a grinder. And then if you get that, you're going to get a tamper and you're going to get a station, you're going to get a brush and you're going to get new cups and you're going to get a, a puck screen and you're going to get porta filters that you don't even fucking really know why you have so many of them and or baskets rather. I don't, don't know why you have so many of them and you're gonna have to get new beans and you're gonna have to get a scale and it's true you get all these things and the obsession is real 
which is such a good segue into today's episode. All right. I am the type of person when I'm in something, I'm obsessed with it. I'm all in and I'm going to do all the research and I'm going to buy the things. I will do the research first and then buy the things. And I have fully embraced this. And I, of course, think that it's not a bad thing, but I saw it play out in other people this weekend, this past weekend. It was really a Monday, Tuesday event, but I saw it play out at this event and I was like, I got to do an episode about that. So at the time that I'm recording this, I literally just got back last night from the Real Coaches Summit. Uh, Aram Gregorian put it on. He, I think his name is like 42 Weeks to the Beach or something like that. We'll link it in the show notes. Um, but he did a really good job with it, I got to say. Um, as a speaker, I was like, this is, this is done well. I spoke about my launch process for online products and it was fun because I got to get really strategic and tactical um, and it wasn't so much of like my usual like inspirational motivational talk which was fun and I, I, I had a blast with it. I got to hang out with my girl Tracy, my girl Candice and it was just, it was really, it was good. I had a really good time. I actually went to a few talks when I was there. Oftentimes it depends on when you're speaking but sometimes it's not so fun to go to talks before your talk because you're just like trying to chill but I, with this event, I spoke two days, like every speaker went twice. So kind of based on where I was speaking the first day, I spoke earlier, the second day I spoke later. Um, but I did go to a few talks. They were good. And there was one in particular, particular, Jesus, one in particular, uh, Dr. Alyssa, I don't know how to pronounce her last name. I realized that and I was like, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's either Olnick or Olenek. Either way, she's Docless Fitness on Instagram, perhaps I'm very late to this party, the Docless party, uh, because I see, I followed her at the event and I see, you know, mutual, we have mutual friends and stuff in common, but her talk in particular really inspired this episode. And she, to me, in that presentation was the epitome of the fact that obsession is a superpower. So Docless, she's just, she's fucking awesome. She's so fucking smart. She's a PhD and she's currently training to clean 200 pounds and also run an ultra marathon. And I was like, love this for you. Her talk was, was largely about cardio um, and the, the TLDR here, the too long didn't read, um, didn't watch, didn't go, didn't listen, is that do some fucking interval training and push yourself during those intervals. Like that's like the takeaway. And I was like, all right, the things I don't want to do, but I get it. I get why. Um, she had, you know, a really sustainable approach to doing it, really... Um, scientific approach, um, really just the, and I say scientific, it's just like, I love when people get into the weeds with things. I'm like, fuck yeah, do it. Even if I don't ever fucking understand it, like, but I could because she's such, she's so good at teaching and she's also a professor, but it was so fucking good. And the inspiration for this podcast episode came from the fact that she is clearly obsessed with this material. At one point she was like, yeah, I should get this, you know, pathway, uh, tattooed on my, my arm. I think she was kidding. Maybe not, but I was like, either way, it's dope. All right. And that to me, it's fucking exciting. I, right? encountering people that are obsessed it's inspiring it's motivating it makes you want to listen to them it makes you want to be around them you know it makes you want to be around her i was dming her while she was speaking and she has a few um automations in place and so afterwards she's dming me and she's like i see that you've gotten caught up with my bots um but i was just like yo you're on stage right now and you're fucking killing it like I, Andrew Coates had introduced us beforehand and she was like, yeah, I know you. And, um, you know, it, she, she was amazing and so sweet. And then I got to know her and I was like, holy shit, I, you're awesome. All right, so clearly with this and the excitement I have here, I'm speaking about my own beliefs with things in, in terms of obsession being attractive, but I want to attract people who share that same belief. So that's why I'm like, yes, I'm putting it out there. Right? I want people with that same belief that obsession is attractive, that obsession is magnetic. Folks who feel that obsession is too much, I'm like, that's fine for them. I, that's not, we're not supposed to be each other's people, right? From the business perspective, I think it's pretty clear here that as customers, we want certainty of an outcome. I talk about this a bunch. We want to know this person can help me, even if it means that they have a resource that they can direct me towards, right? I trust them. You can't tell me that you don't feel that way about someone who's fucking obsessed with their craft, right? Not only do they know the things, you're like, holy shit, they like, know all the answers here or they can get me the answer. They also want to be helping you because they're just like, they, they're in it. To me, that's just like th the ultimate combination, the ultimate uh, uh, recipe, the ultimate approach for a business, right? As always, 
nothing good ever came from anything forced. So I'm not trying, you know, I'm not here to tell you, figure out a way to be obsessed. If you're not obsessed, you're not obsessed. I'm simply giving you the permission that you did not need and also saying that, you know, it's okay to get obsessed with things. Especially, you know, if you do happen to have this superpower, because I do think that obsession is a superpower, then lean the fuck in. I do believe that we all have the ability to get excited about things. I'm not sure if everyone has the ability to get obsessed with things. Maybe, maybe not. I think that there's, it's kind of like that addictive personality. And we're going to get into that in a second. But so maybe everyone doesn't have it to that same extent. But I do think we all have the ability to get excited about things. I think that some folks maybe have the obsession gene and that allows them to stick with that thing that they're excited about. Or other folks, they get excited about it, they do it for a second and then they leave. They get excited about this thing, they do it for a second. And they may, they may dive into it, but then they go off and do something else. Whereas I think folks with the obsession gene, they go all in and they do all the things with it. They take however long you know is required to really master this thing. All right, they pick this cab and then they just keep keep picking, they keep going. All right, so circling back a little bit or backing up a little bit as it relates to the permission piece, right? Giving you the permission that you don't need to get obsessed. I think perhaps in saying that I'm largely talking to those, you know, socialized female and folks in, in this audience who were never asked what they like or never exp- allowed to explore what they, they like. And then, you know, go all in. So my permission there that you don't need is go explore the things, figure out what you like. And then, let it consume you. It's okay. It's a good thing. Honestly, it's fucking amazing. I, circling back again, and I kind of alluded to it, uh, speaking about this um, obsession gene. I think it's very similar to the addiction gene, where it's not. It's honestly not uncommon. And this is not Alyssa's story, but uh, one of the other speakers there, Beth. This was her story. Um, it's not uncommon to hear folks in the social media space who have big followings and even bigger personalities and they are they are all in with this thing they are fucking obsessed they're deep with it it is not uncommon to hear them say that they are now sober and that in a past life they were like you know functioning alcoholics with a penchant for cocaine like not at all and they'll be open with it right actually beth was talking about how she's like aspartame is not going to get me i used to like you know be taking shots and snorting cocaine off the bathroom you know, the, to- the toilet in the bathroom, like aspartame is not going to be what takes me out. And I was like, this makes so much sense, right? To me, it reads as addiction transfer. And it's, it's a good thing. It's kind of like using your powers for quote unquote good, where we see it with runners, the same thing where it's like people take this obsession and where does that energy go into? Does it go into things that we consider to be self-destructive or just like not as accepted by society or not as beneficial to society or not safe for themselves and not safe for society? Or is it into things that you know, are more acceptable, um, kind of that using your powers for good. I'm fucking here for it, right? Take that, that energy you have and go all the fuck the way in. I, I'm going to keep this episode short. I'm looking at the time. I'm going to keep it short because honestly, there isn't much to say about it. Like it is what it is. Obsession is a superpower. Lean all the fuck the way in. Let them call you obsessed. To me, it's a compliment. Don't forget, folks, next Monday's episode will be a guest episode with Matt McKinnis Watson, Mr. Flying High, the plyo guy. And I think you're definitely going to want to tune into that episode. I, we will have the regularly scheduled Thursday episode first. Um, but I want to make sure that you know about the Monday episode because I don't do a ton of guest episodes. But Thursday's episode uh, coming up this week is going to be chatting about how to get the most out of live events. It is a back episode, right? Pulling it back from the art, pulling it back, yeah, I guess, uh, pulling it out of the archives. Um, but since I just came back from the live event, um, but I just wanted to make sure to give you guys the heads up about, give you folks the heads up about the, uh, that impending good kid. All right. That is all that I got for you for today. Actually, one more thing. Shout out to Candace. I know you'd be watching these. We hung out at, a. Uh, the event. And she was like, I really like watching your episodes. And I was like, be still my heart. Like just so big shout out, especially to Candace for, uh, for watching these Tracy be listening to all of these. It's just folks at the, you got folks at the best. So, okay. Gonna wrap it up there as always endlessly appreciative for every single one of you until next time, friends, maestro.